Hello everyone and welcome to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Jad. This is episode 43 of the Learn to Play series. This episode looks at different situations where the Blackwood Convention can be used. Let's start with a new deal. This is deal 011. You are the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 19 high card points and two long points for a total of 21 points. You have two doubletons, so your hand is semi balanced, and you have only one biddable suit diamonds. This is very similar to the hand you saw in the previous episode, except that this time your long suit is diamonds. You apply the same rules and open with a bid of one diamond. West passes, partner bids four diamonds, and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows 12 to 15 points and guarantees a fit in diamonds. It also denies a biddable major suit. You add your 21 points to partner's minimum of 12 for a total of 33. You realise that you have the points required for a small slam. You can't simply bid six diamonds because you're missing all four aces. You consider using Blackwood to find out about partner's aces. Let's see what can happen if you do this. You bid four no trump. West passes. Partner has two aces and responds with the correct bid of five hearts and East passes. It's your turn to bid. You know you are missing two aces, so you can't bid six diamonds. But the bidding is already at five hearts, so you can't bid five diamonds. You have bid yourself into an impossible contract, whatever you do. So you must avoid this situation by not using Blackwood. Let's go back to your Blackwood for no trump bid. When you use Blackwood, you must be sure that you have a viable contract for every possible response. In this situation, if partner has two aces, you are stuck. So do not use Blackwood. Just make the game bid of five diamonds. West passes, partner passes, and east passes to end the auction. The contract is five diamonds by south. It is possible that partner has three of the missing aces, and a slam may have been possible. But the likelihood of that is significantly less than our 75% requirement. You're in a game contract, and that is preferable to being in an impossible contract. Now let's look at another deal. This is hand 014. You are the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 19 high card points and two long points for a total of 21 points. You have two doubletons, so your hand is semi-balanced, and you have only one biddable suit, hearts. You apply the rules and open with a bid of one heart. West passes, partner bids four hearts, and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows 12 to 15 points and three or more hearts, guaranteeing a fit in hearts. You will play a heart contract, but at what level? 
you add partner's minimum of 12 points to your 21 points for a total of 33 points. This is enough for a small slam. You have no aces, so you need partner to have at least three. You decide to use Blackwood. You bid for no trump. West passes. Partner bids five hearts and East passes. It's your turn to bid again. You interpret partner's bid. Once again, partner's bid says nothing about hearts. It simply says that partner holds two aces. This means your opponents hold two aces, so you cannot make a slam bid. You need to be in hearts, but at the lowest possible level. The current bid is five hearts, so the only way to do this is to pass. You pass, and West passes to end the auction. The contract is five hearts by South. This time, you will be playing and partner will be dummy. Now, let's look at another deal. This is deal 012. This time, partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 20 high card points and zero long points for a total of 20 points. You have only one short suit, a doubleton, so your hand is balanced. And you have two biddable suits, spades and diamonds. Partner opens the bidding with one spade, and East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's opening bid shows 13 to 21 points and five or more spades. You check for a fit with partner's major suit. You add your four spades to partner's five, for a total of nine spades. You have a fit in spades and will play a spade contract. Next, you check the partnership points total. Because you have a fit in spades, you start by revaluing your hand. You have a doubleton heart, so you replace your zero long points with one dummy point for a total of 21 points. Now you add partner's minimum of 13 points to your 21 for a total of 34 points. You know that this is enough points for a small slam. You consider bidding six spades, but know that you must check for missing aces before doing so. You have two aces. Perhaps Blackwood can be of use to find out partner's aces. You check the requirements for using Blackwood. You know that you have at least 33 points, and you know that you wish to play in spades. But before you can use Blackwood, you need to make sure that partner will know that is what you are doing. Let's extend the requirements slightly. You need to ensure that you and partner both know the contract suit. In the previous hands about Blackwood, this was easy because both you and partner bid that suit. But this time, that will not be possible. Let's see why. A bid of two spades shows six to nine points. A bid of three spades shows 10 to 11 points. And a bid of four spades shows 12 to 15 points. You have more than 15 points, so you can't make any of these bids. But there is a new rule to cover this situation. After partner's bid of one of a suit, an immediate bid of four no trump shows a fit in partner's suit and is a Blackwood bid asking about aces. This seems perfect for your situation. You bid four no trump. West passes, partner bids five hearts, 
and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. You know that partner's Blackwood response shows two aces. So, knowing that all the aces are held by your partnership, you bid six spades. West passes, partner passes, and east passes to end the auction. Partner bid spades first, so the contract is six spades by north. Partner will play the hand, and you will be dummy. Now, let's look at one last deal. This is deal 013. Once again, partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have 15 high card points and zero long points for a total of 15 points. Your hand has a singleton, so it is unbalanced. And you have three biddable suits, spades, hearts and diamonds. As you know, this is a club splinter. Partner opens the bidding with one no trump and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows a balanced hand with 15 to 17 high card points. You apply the rules for responding to one no trump. You have eight or more points, so you will make a positive bid. With exactly four cards in a major suit, you'll use the Stamen convention. You bid two clubs. West passes, partner bids two hearts, and east passes. Once again, it's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows four or more hearts. You check for a fit in partner's major suit. You add your four hearts to partner's minimum of four for a total of eight hearts. You have a fit and will play a heart contract. But at what level? Because you have a fit with partner's suit, you start by revaluing your hand. You replace your zero long points with three dummy points for a total of 18 points. You add your 18 points to partner's minimum of 15 for a total of 33 points. You know this is enough for a small slam. You also know to check for missing aces. You have two aces in your hand and would like to use Blackwood to ask partner about the missing aces. But you need to make sure partner knows that the contract will be in hearts. You know that if you bid three hearts or four hearts to tell partner about the hearts, that partner may well pass. This is another situation in which you can use an immediate Blackwood bid. You bid for no trump. And West passes. Partner knows that your jump from his suit bid to four no trump is Blackwood and that you have a heart fit. Partner bids five hearts. And East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid is a response to your Blackwood for no trump bid. It says nothing about hearts. Partner has two aces. With all aces accounted for, you bid a small slam of six hearts. West passes, partner passes, and east passes to end the auction. The contract is six hearts by north. Once again, partner will play the hand and you will be dummy. The concept of immediate Blackwood can be generalised. If partner's bid proposes a new trump suit, then a four no trump bid by you is immediate Blackwood. This means you must have a fit in that suit and are asking about partner's aces. This episode 
covered more of the basics of bridge. It showed you how and when to use the Blackwood Convention to ask about partners' aces. In future episodes, I'll cover everything else you'll need to be a confident and successful bridge player. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that Bridge is for everyone.